All right. So, isang magandang hapon po sa lahat sa mga teachers, librarians, and students of Olinster College. Welcome to our online library literacy program or what we call the OLLP. Thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, we would also like to acknowledge the presence of the following people. So, we have here uh, Sir Nielsen Gret, the SHL SHS Principal and BPID in Academics. Uh, good afternoon po. We have here Ms. Joanne Demacolangan, Senior High School Assistant Principal. Ms. Johanna Santos, College Library Aide. Good afternoon po. Uh, Ms. Princess Marase, SHS Coordinator. Ms. Mabel Tuazon, Academic Coordinator for College Department. Sir Leonard Tomol. Uh, SHS Library Aid and Ms. Angela Jean Reyes, the HR Officer. So again, uh, welcome po and we hope you're all staying safe and healthy amidst the pandemic. Thank you very much for requesting the session and we're very excited to share with you our library efforts, programs, and services. But before we officially start the program, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Louis Marquez, Science Research Specialist 1, and I will be your moderator for today. Together with me is Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake, our uh, Supervising Science Research Specialist. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Ayan. So we also have here Ms. Irene Alice Bilio, our uh, Science Research Specialist too. Hi, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ms. Louie. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Ayan. And also with us is Sir RJ Escondo, our Information System Researcher. Good afternoon, Sir RJ. Ayan. And uh, present also are our tech team. So we have here uh, Mr. Rainier Zagada and Mr. Mark Jason Olvida. So ayan po ang team behind today's activity. And now to give you a glimpse of our discussion, we will be covering the following topics. So for the first part, it's about getting to know DOST SDII services, resources, and products. For the second part, it's about researching in DOST SDII library kung paano, kung paano nga ng aming online public access catalog. And given that uh, our physical library is close to the public, paano nga ba mag-request ng materials from the library? And for the third part, it's about navigating the Starbucks offline, online, mobile app, quiz app, and how to avail. So later on, all these topics will be discussed even further by our presenters. Yeah. And um, for a smooth flow of the program, we are encouraging everyone to please take note of the following house rules. So this webinar will be recorded for documentation purposes. And if you have any questions, please use the Q&A chat box. Be polite, pay attention, and actively participate. And finally, an evaluation and post-test will be provided in exchange of the e-certificate of attendance. So yung link po natin will be posted in the latter part of the session. So please stay tuned until the end. Your certificate will be sent to your registered email address within 10 working days after the conduct of the session. Yeah, and so moving on, flash on the screen are our presenters. For the first part, we have our uh, supervising science research specialist and also the head librarian of the DOSD SDII library, Ms. Linderit M. Maglake. For the second part, we have Ms. Irene Alice Villio. She's our science research specialist too, also a registered librarian. And for the part three, we have Sir R.J. C. Escondo, uh, our information system researcher. And now to formally welcome all of you, let us all hear a message from the director of the DOSD SDII, Director Richard P. Burgos. Hi, let me greet everyone a happy day. It is always a happy day for us here at the DOST STII Library. And why is that so? Well, as a special repository of science, technology, and innovation information, we are always surrounded by the best minds and works of scientists, technologists, and innovators from the Philippines and from all around the world. So, when the COVID-19 pandemic threw the whole world in a lockdown. Some of the first places to be shut down were libraries. We could not receive walk-in clients anymore. Good news is that while our daily physical visitor count plummeted to zero, 
our online patrons continued to visit us and even increased in number. Moreover, with the school opening in the new blended environment for instruction, more and more learners and teachers are using online tools and resources and discovering the value of digital libraries. The requirement of the time, therefore, is to be agile and to pivot quickly to online solutions. Thus, we repositioned our old physical library tour and orientation program to an online version, which we now call the DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program. This is a way of reaching out to all teachers and learners who need to access resources and services that they can use in distance learning. The DOST STAI Online Library Literacy Program has three parts. Part one is about getting to know the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute, our services, available resources, and products. Part two teaches you how to research in the DOST STAI Library, how to navigate the online public access catalog, and how to request for library materials. Lastly, part three, we'll discuss our digital library in a box, the DOST Starbooks. It will teach you how to navigate the DOST Starbooks offline or online, or even its mobile app version. Then there is the Starbooks Quiz app, which is loads of fun. Generally, the Online Library Literacy Program aims to capacitate DOST stakeholders in the field of science, technology, and innovation, and to maximize the use of DOST STI services and resources. The most wonderful news is that all these resources are available online for you for free. So what are you waiting for? Come and spend a happy day at the DOST STII Library. Visit our FB page at facebook.com slash STII Library and access our online public access catalog at signet.dost.gov.ph. See you soon. Alright, so yan po ang aming very energetic and ever-supportive director and director Richard P. Burgos. And uh, taking off from his video message, we hope you are all eager to know more and learn more about the Department of Science and Technology. But before that, let me just give you a quick run through about the DOST. So for those who don't know, ang DOST po ay located sa Bikutan, Taguig City. And for the historical overview, from 1958 to 1982, DOST was formerly known as the National Science Development Board, or NSTB. From 1982 to 1987, it was changed to National Science and Technology Authority, or NSTA. And finally, in 1987, by virtue of Executive Order Number 128, it was changed to Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, as it is known until today. So again, from NSDB to NSTA until finally DOST. And the current tipo, ang DOST ay pinamumunuan ni Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña, or SFTP for short. And a quick trivia also, SFTP stands for the slogan of the DOST, which is Science for the People, or sa Tagalog ay Agham para sa Bayan. Now, DOST is composed of 18 attached agencies. So, siguro ang iba, uh, familiar na kayo, like Pag-asa, Feebox, um, PISAI, SEI, ayan. So, yan po yung mga examples ng attached agencies ng DOST. And uh, several regional offices divided into four clusters, namely the sectoral planning councils, the s and services, the collegial and scientific bodies, and the research and development institutes. DOST Science and Technology Information Institute is part of the s and services as the marketing and information arm of the DOST system. All right, so now we shall proceed to our topics. Yeah. 
But before that, kung ready na for the lecture proper, can you type ready sa ating chat box? So let's see lang kung ready na ang mga participants for the first part of the session. Ready na ba? Let us see. Ayan, so mukhang ready naman na ang participants. And now to give you more information about the products, services, resources of the DOST STII, here is Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake, our Supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DOST STII Library. Hello, everyone. How are you today? We hope that you are all doing well. I am Linder Lit M. Maglake, the head librarian of DOST Science and Technology Information Institute, and I am here today to introduce our agency. So let's get to know DOST STII. DOST STII is one of the attached agency of the Department of Science and Technology. We are the information and marketing arm of DOST. We have three mandates. We are mandated to establish a science and technology library. So that's DOST STII library. Next is to disseminate science and technology information. We disseminate s and information in all formats. Through prints, we have our own publications. We also do broadcasting and press releases and through social media as well as mobile applications. So we will identify them all on the next slides. And lastly, to undertake training on science and technology information. We conduct free trainings and webinars so just follow our social media accounts for announcements. We provide s and information services through our library. So this is DOST STII library located at DOST compound in Bikutan, Taguig City. So as of the moment, our physical library is temporarily closed to the public as a preventive measure to stop the spread of COVID-19. But don't worry, you can still avail of our library services by contacting us. You can email us at library at stii.dost.gov.ph and you can call and text us on the following numbers. For announcement, you can follow our social media accounts on Facebook at STII Library on Instagram at dost.stii library and on Twitter at stii underscore library. And if you miss watching our webinars, you can subscribe and watch the recordings at our YouTube channel at DOST STII library. For library material requests, you can browse our library collection at signet.dost.gov.ph. Our online public access catalog is very easy to use. You just need to remember four things. Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. Number two, click online public access catalog. Type your keyword in the search bar and click search. Number three, Select the title of your choice. Make sure that the material is located at STII and copy the details and send it at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. So again, for library material requests, just remember four things. Number one, go to signet.dost.gov.ph. There's no login required. Number two, click online public access catalog. Number three, type your keyword in the search bar, then click search. And then last, make sure that the location of the material is in STII. Then copy the details and email it at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. It's easy, right? We also disseminate s and information through our publications. 
So these are all of the DOST STII publications that you can download for free at stii.dost.gov.ph. So let's describe each publication. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science or PJS, which is the oldest scientific peer-reviewed journal in the Philippines, published in 1906. So what can you see inside PJS? If you are looking for research outputs on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, you can refer to the Philippine Journal of Science. So for those of you who are looking for related studies on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences, PJS is the one for you. Next, we have the SNT Post, which is a quarterly publication of DOST STII. So what's inside SNT Post? If you are looking for news articles on various DOST programs, SNT Post is the one for you. In particular, SNT Post tackles how DOST initiatives have created an impact in agriculture, enterprise, industry, IT, health, education, and disaster preparedness. Next is the Red Book or the Reference for Emergency and Disaster Book. The Red Book serves as a handy tool of information about all possible natural hazards in an area. The warning information given by agencies like Pagasa and Devox and special programs like Project NOAA and the suggested actions to take during these events. The Red Book can be used by our grade 11 and grade 12 students as well as our teachers as a reference on the subject disaster readiness and risk reduction. So if you know someone who needs a reference on emergency and disaster, well, you can refer them the Red Book. Next, we have the DOST Digest, which is a monthly DOST publication. So what's inside DOST Digest? If you are looking for condensed and easy to read science and technology news stories, DOST Digest is the one for you. DOST Digest contains the most recent technologies and happenings in the local SNT community with compelling photos and images on a full color four page newsletter. So if you are a student or professional on the go, DOST Digest is the one for you. Next is Balitang Rapidos, which is a monthly publication of DOST STII. So are you looking for news stories on science and technology which is written in the Filipino language. So if you are, you can refer to Balitang Rapidos. Balitang Rapidos provides condensed and easy to read news stories on science and technology that is written in the Filipino language. Next, we have the SPEARS or the Specialized Philippine Enterprise Reference of Experts and Scientists, which is originally published as the Philippine Men of Science in 1964 and renamed as the Philippine Men and Women of Science in 2013. So what's inside SPEARS? Are you curious about our Filipino scientists? Have you ever wondered what are their contribution in the country? Do you want to know more about our Filipino scientists? Well, if your answer is yes, SPEARS is the one for you. SPEARS provide biobibliographic information of Filipino scientists and experts, which serves as a specialized reference for the public. Last, we have the Philippine Science and Technology Abstracts or the PSTA. PSTA is a semi-annual publication of DOST STII, released every June and December of each year. PSTA features abstracts of local SNP published researches. So if you are looking for a list of local SNP published researches, PSTA is the one for you. So remember, all of these publications are all free for full text download at DOST STII website 
at www.stii.dost.gov.ph. So just go visit our website, go to Products and Projects, and select s and Publications, then you're good to go. We also disseminate s and information through our mobile apps, which are all free for download at Google Play Store. Just type DOST STII in the search bar. Let's describe these mobile apps one by one. Let's start with the Philippine Journal of Science mobile app. If you're always on the go and you want to be updated on the latest issue of Philippine Journal of Science, you can download this mobile app on your mobile devices and do research on natural sciences, engineering, mathematics, and social sciences. With Philippine Journal of Science mobile app, you can access the past and current issues of PJS anytime, anywhere. Next, we have the DOS TV mobile app for past and current episodes of DOS TV programs. Because we are the information and marketing arm of the Department of Science and Technology, we also promote s &T through broadcasting. And DOS TV is one of the flagship program of DOS TSAI aside from DOS T Starbucks. DOS TV is the official weather, science, and technology television program of the Department of Science and Technology to communicate science for the people, promote a culture of science and technology, and raise the aspirations of our youth to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and be the leaders of the future. Among the programs of DOSTB are DOST Report, Expert Talk, Negociencia, Cineciencia, and Special Coverage on s and Events. So if you miss watching these programs, you can download the DOS TV mobile app. Next is the science.ph mobile app. If you are always on the go and you want to be updated on the news on science and technology, well, we recommend science.ph mobile app for you. By using this mobile app, you will always be updated on the happenings in the field of science and technology. Science.ph mobile app will let you categorize the news by region and by field of study. So download it now. Next, we have the DOST app. This was recently introduced to the public in 2020 to allow the public to be updated on the DOST initiatives, programs, and projects. DOST app gives you quick access to information on science, technology, and innovation from the Department of Science and Technology. It is a handy tool to find practical solutions to the country's pressing problems and to provide career and livelihood opportunities for every Filipino. Next is the Starbucks Quiz app, designed to challenge our elementary, high school, and college students to answer quizzes on science and technology. So this can be used by our teachers in providing an interactive activity on their classes. We also have the Starbucks mobile app for the students and teachers on the go. So here are the following contents of the Starbucks mobile app. We have the SCARTI livelihood videos, K-12 materials, science for safer communities videos, investigatory projects, math and science educational videos. Lastly, we also have the Starbucks GeoMap. Locate all of Starbucks kiosks installed in the Philippines. So remember, all of these mobile apps are all free for download at Google Play Store. You just need to type DOST STII at the search bar. We are encouraging you all to download it now. We also disseminate s and information through our website. So here are the following websites for Philippine Journal of Science at philjournalsci.dost.gov.ph. For DOSTB, we have dostb.ph. For science.ph, we have science.ph. Very easy to remember, right? And for spears, we have spears.dost.gov.ph. And you can access the link to these websites at DOST. STII website at stii.dost.gov.ph.
that pH. As I have mentioned earlier, we also disseminate s and information through broadcasting. So we are inviting you all to please watch CineCN Shia every Monday at 5 p.m., Expert Talk Online every Wednesday at 5 p.m., and DOST Report every Friday at 4 p.m. live at DOSTV Facebook page at facebook.com slash DOSTVPH and at DOSTV Science for the People YouTube channel. And lastly, our third mandate, we undertake training on s and information. Among the topics that we cover are science journalism, basic photography, digitization of print materials, and online library literacy program. Again, we are encouraging you all to please maximize the use of our services and resources. For inquiries regarding our services, resources, and products, here are our contact details. Again, this is Glyn Dordit and Maglake. Thank you for listening. Let's stay connected. Contact us now. Okay, so maraming salamat, Ma'am Linder, for summarizing and sharing with us the services and the resources of the DOSD-SDII. And just to repeat, no, isa po sa mandato ng DOSD-SDII ang pag-promote at pag-disseminate ng SNT information to the public. And we really hope that by doing uh, programs like this, we could encourage people to use the free resources and services. Okay, so uh, moving on. Our uh, next video presentation will give you a more detailed explanation on how to research in the library, the ways and tips to navigate the OPAC or our online public access catalog. So here's Ms. Irene Alice Brillo for the second part of the session. Hello everyone. Once again, this is Irene Alice Brillo and as mentioned, I will be showing you the actual navigation of our library's online public access catalog. Let me just share my screen. Okay, so I hope you can see this one. Let's just increase there. And the first thing that we need to do is to go to the library OPAX URL that is sign in. 
www.dosb.gov.ph and there you go. So this is our interface. And you can see here is DOSB. That means this union catalog is a compendium of all the different DOSB agencies library resources. So let's check this one. Click online public access catalog. And there you go. So you can see here on this part, we have here login. The question, do you need to log in in order for you to access the materials within the online public access catalog? No. So, hindi nyo po kailangan. Okay, you can just go directly uh, searching in the OPA. So we have two, actually we have two strategies in uh, doing the search. So first we have here the quick search there. May nakalagay ng virus, okay? <laughs> so in quick search, it's just like when you use the Google, just key in your topic. So let's just, uh, let's just, leave the virus there since we are facing pandemic. So let's try the topic on virus and let's click search. There you go. So for the topic on virus, we actually have 2,816 results. Dami no? Yeah. And in this area, may mapapansin kayo different icons. So for this one, for this icon, this represents the materials or the book materials. For this one, this represents the technical reports. For this one, these are analytics or articles. These are actually from the serials also. And then we have here the serials. We also have non-prints. We have reprints. We have investigatory projects, thesis, and we have vertical files. Uh, for your information, our thesis materials are uh, the researches done by our DOSB scholars. Although we have some donations from other um, academic institutions, but uh, majority of the thesis uh, materials, thesis and dissertation actually that we have are, are researches done by our scholars. Okay, let's try opening the bibliographic record of these materials. For example, this one, bacteria, archaea, fung fungi, and viruses. Let's check this out. And there. I hope you can see this one. Okay. So this is entitled Skin Microbiota. And the location is SPII. So as I mentioned a while back, the DOSB signet is a union catalog where you can find all the different resources found in the different DOSB agencies. So the location will tell you which agency has the specific materials that you need. So pwede po kayong uh, pumunta sa website, mga different DOSB agencies, and then uh, you can try to ask for the material. And so for this, again, for this material, this is found in SAI, and this is the call number. This is the publication title. So this article was taken from this publication. So the Nature published on 2018 under volume 54 and issue 7689. So I am you can also see here a short abstract of the article. And we also have here subjects or the topics that are found in the article. 
okay. oh, so that is an example of how you use, use the uh, quick search. And now let's try opening another material. Okay, how about this one, coronavirus. Okay, for this one, this is a non-print and here. So, I hope you can see this one. Or let, let me share so that you can see it closer. Okay, there. So for this material on coronavirus, this is still located in SCII and down below here, you can find the download full text. This means that you can request the digital copy of the material from us. Okay? So, pwedeng pwede nyo pong i-request yan sa amin. Pag na may nakita po kayo na download full text, dito po sa ilalim. Currently, we are undergoing digitization of our library materials. And um, we have not uh, fully digitized yet all our collection, especially the foreign materials because of um, copyright issues. We have the copyright law covering them. So uh, for the moment, we are um, prioritizing the digitization of Filipino materials. Or um, in layman's term, these are uh, materials that are published in the Philippines. There. So, Okay, so that is for quick search. Okay, what if we use another strategy for searching? Okay, let's use this one. This is called the expert search. And the difference between the quick search and the expert search is you can see this one, it has a delimitation. So we, you can just check if uh, you are looking for a title or author or subject. Yan. Kung kilala niyo na po yung author, you can write it here. Or kung gusto niyo makakita kung ano yung mga uh, meron kaming available na material written by that specific author, pwede po. And the format for author is family name first. Ayan po. Now, uh, we also have here all material types or these are the different types of materials. So, pwede nyo pong ilimit lang. Kung gusto nyo analytics lang or articles lang yung ilabas sa result, you can choose analytics. Kung gusto nyo books lang, just choose book. We have here non-prints, investigatory projects, serial thesis, and vertical files. So, for example, ngayon, itry lang natin na all material types. And um, let's try... Uh, ha? Anong gusto niyo? Kanina kasi virus, no? So, si bacteria naman ngayon. Si bacteria. Pwedeng title, pwedeng subject din. And ang gagamitin natin na una is the end. Napapansin niyo pa dito, we have end or not. Okay. Ang end would uh, mean that yung ilalagay po natin dito, at saka dito ay makikita natin sa iisang material lang. So for example, ang gusto natin ay mag-compare si bacteria at saka si virus. So bacteria and virus. And then you can limit how many uh, records or results with it will be displayed in one page. So you can display as much as 50 records per page. So for example, gawin lang natin 20. And then let's try search. And there you have it. Okay, so for materials that contains both bacteria and viruses, we have two materials. So dalawa, dalawa lang, yung merong parehong virus at bacteria. We have uh, this one and then this one. 
And mapapansin nyo po dito sa result ng expert search, nakalagay po dito yung location kaagad. So makikita nyo po, both of these materials are found in STII. So ibig sabihin, pwede po kayong mag-request sa amin. Okay. Balik tayo sa expert search. Ayan. Ano naman ngayon ang gamit ni OR? Okay, si OR naman. Gagamitin natin siya. Okay, so ganun pa din yung gagamitin natin. Bacteria or virus or let's try corona. Uh, virus or corona. So ibig sabihin, uh, pwede about virus, pwede din about corona ang lumabas. Corona or no, let's just leave it that way. Subject or, or pwede din title. And then, subject. And then, let's try 20. And let's click search. Okay, there you have it. So, we actually have 2,764. And containing either virus or corona. And makikita nyo po, STII, STII. So, karamihan po sa kanila ay found in STII. So, kung naghahadap po kayo ng virus or corona, yun marami po dito. So, you can request. Yan. Paano pag halimbawa, marami. Kailangan ko bang isa-isahin na kopyahin yung mga titles and authors of the material? Well, no. Ang uso ngayon ay Ang tawag natin doon, SS. Screenshot nyo lang po. So, you can just screenshot this one. Ayan. And then, isend nyo po sa amin via email. So, pwede nyo pong uh, hindi na kopyahin isa-isa yung mga titles and also of the material. So, again, you can screenshot this one and send us or attach the screenshot in your email request. Okay? Ayan po si expert search. Balik tayo. Try naman natin si not. Okay, kanina gusto natin si virus. Pero ayon natin na meron siyang kasamang corona. O kaya gusto natin si virus lang. Ayaw natin na may kasamang bacteria. Okay, try natin. Ibig sabihin Sabihin ng not is, yung, ito lang po yung gusto nyo, pero ayaw nyo na may kasama siyang ganyan. Ayan, and let's click search. There you go. So, we have 1,517. Meron tayong articles, meron tayong thesis material. Okay, ngayon, question. Pag thesis material ba, pwede niyong isend sa amin yung full text ng thesis material? The answer is no. We are very sorry, but since our thesis are unpublished, we can only send you the abstract of the material via email. But when uh, we are allowed to accept walk-in clients, you can access the whole material Pag nandito na po kayo sa loob. Yan po. That's just the limitation pagdating sa thesis. Okay po. Ayan. Pero sa thesis, mababasa nyo po. Okay. Mababasa nyo po sa uh, thesis. For some, may mga naka-attach na uh, abstract. So, makikita nyo po yung abstract nyo doon. At least you will have a glimpse kung ano po yung laman ng thesis. Ayan po. Okay. So tapos na tayo sa quick search and expert search. Ngayon. It, uh, ito pa yung mga tinatanong sa amin. Kapag nag-request po ba kami ngayon, Mabibigay niyo ba agad-agad? Ayan. So, that's what question. No? 
in our library, we are given a maximum of eight working hours to answer or to respond to your queries. Ibig sabihin nun, kapag nareceive po namin yung query nyo uh, ng 9 o'clock in the morning, and we have uh, throughout the day to answer your or to respond to your query. So, hindi pwedeng aantayin namin yung bukas para sagutin po yung inyong query. If we have the digital copy of the material, we can send it back to you immediately or once we um, open or we receive your request. Ano-ano uh, lamang po yung mga limitations. Ang limitations natin, pag foreign books and lahat din pala ng books, even Filipiniana, ang mabibigay po namin sa inyo is just one chapter of the book. Okay po. So ilang isang chapter lang. Po, hindi po namin pwedeng ibigay yung buong libro. Okay po. Ayun. Kapag naman article siya and the digital copy is available isi-send po namin yun ng buo sa inyo. Okay po? Ayan. Ano pa ba ang tinatanong? Ah, masasagot niyo po pa kami pag nag-request kami during weekends? Okay. So, ang official working days po namin uh, during this pandemic is from Monday to Thursday and 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we have, or we work four days a week, 10 hours in a day. Ibig sabihin po noon, during Fridays and weekends and holidays, closed po kami. So hindi po namin masasagot yung inyong mga queries, but we will answer your queries on the following working day. So kapag po, halimbawa bukas, Friday, masasagot po namin yung request nyo ng Monday. Okay po? Ayan. And also, and kapag sumagot po kami ng inyong email or ng inyong request, meron din po kami hihingin sa inyo. That is for you to answer our feedback form. So kapag po nag-respond po kayo, kami sa inyong email, kindly answer our feedback form. Your feedback will be important to us in order for us to make our service better. And then part din po doon sa aming evaluation form or feedback form, tinatanong po namin ano po yung uh, request or material na gusto nyo po na hindi nyo nakita sa library or ano po yung mga suggested na materials na gusto nyo na uh, magkaroon po tayo dito sa ating library. I would just like to emphasize as mentioned by Ma'am Linda a while back, that our library is mandated to collect only materials related to science, technology, and innovation. So kapag halibaw po ang kailangan ninyo are part of social sciences like literature, history, wala po sa amin yun. And um, pwede po kayong magpunta uh, or uh, Tingnan yung online public access catalog ng National Library of the Philippines uh, sapagkat sa kanila naman po is lahat, lahat ng fields, yun yung mandato po nila. Sa atin, uh, STI lang. That's why we are called a special public library. Ayun po. And then, next, we also have a subscription online. Ayan, yun naman din po yung pwede po namin ma-offer sa inyo. This one is, okay, the Science Direct. So, pwede po kayong pumunta sa sciencedirect.com. Ayan. And sa sciencedirect.com, hindi nyo din po kailangan na mag-register. Ayan, ayan, ito po yung ating interface. Uh, the Science Direct is not from, is uh, that ours uh, nag, naka-subscribe lang po si DOST sa Science Direct 
So dito naman po sa Science Direct, pwede po kayong mag-search dito without registering. So halimbawa po, naghahanap po kayo ng materials on uh, coronavirus pa rin. Corona virus. O gusto nyo ba vaccine naman ngayon? Sige, try natin. Um, COVID-19 vaccine. Try natin kung meron kaya ngayon. Ayan. So we actually have articles on COVID-19 vaccine. And we have here 12,243 results. Sige, palakihin ko yung screen para makita nyo. Ayan. So, we also have here, you can refine actually your search. Kung gusto nyo, pinaka-latest lang. Ayan. Pwede nyo i-check yan. Ayan. Ayan. And then dito, nakita nyo po, hindi ako nag-register. Tama po. But you can already see here materials na pwede pong i-download kaagad. So, ibig sabihin nito, these are open access. Ngayon, makikita nyo po yung full text access. So, yung pwede nyo pong buksan to. Pwede nyo po siyang i-download. Okay? Ayan. What if? Okay. Halimbawa po, ito. Wala siyang katulad nito, di ba? So, for this one, halimbawa, ito gusto nyo to. Ang gagawin nyo lang is to copy this one or again, screenshot. Kung gusto nyo ng screenshot. Copy nyo lang to and then this one and then isend nyo sa email namin. Okay? And then sabihin nyo lang yung title of the material, the author, and kung saan nyo po nakita. So kapag halimbawa sa science, since sa science direct nyo ito nakita, sabihin nyo po na sa science direct. Uh, ganun din po kapag sa sign it, although malalaman namin yun based from your screenshot, pero pwede nyo pong banggit eh na galing ito sa sign it or galing ito sa science direct. Okay po? Ayan. So, sa ang email nyo ba isi-send? Ayan. So, ang email natin is library at stii.usd.gov.ph Yun po yung email address natin. Again, that's library at stii.usd.gov.ph Ayan. Pwede din po kayong mag-send sa aming Facebook page. So, we have uh, just go to facebook.com slash STII Library. Paki like and follow po. Makikita nyo po doon yung mga different activities po natin. And pwede nyo pong isend sa messenger yung inyong mga request. Okay po? Pero mas maganda po sa email. Uh, pero kung hindi nyo maalala yung email natin, you can send your request via messenger. Pero pakilagay nyo na din po doon kung ano yung email address nyo para doon po namin isisend yung material na kailangan nyo. Okay, halimbawa or paano kung yung material na gusto nyo ay wala siyang digital copy. Kung wala siyang digital copy, ang gagawin namin is maghahanap po kami ng related materials on your topic. Tapos yun po yung isi-send po namin sa inyo. Okay po? So gagawin po natin yun ng paraan. Ay yung... Paano yung online service nyo? 24-7 ba siya? Ayan. Si OPAC, tsaka yung ating, mga, yung ating Facebook, 24-7 ano, po siya. Kaya lang po, yung pagsagot namin, yun ang hindi po 24-7. Okay? So, sasagot po kami again sa queries nyo, pati sa Facebook po, sasagutin po namin kayo Monday to Thursday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ayan. So, kung may mga katanungan pa po kayo, you can just chat your question uh, in our chat box uh, or sa Q&A button para hindi matabunan kung marami yung magtatanong. And you can also um, send us your question kapag halimbawa uh, may mga gusto pa po kayong itanong na hindi nyo matatanong ngayon, pwede nyo pong isend sa amin. Uh, Facebook page or sa ating email address. Okay? Ayan. So, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining us in our online library literacy program. We look forward to receiving your queries.
Yeah, and so thank you very much, Ms. Irene, for that very uh, detailed presentation. And again, to access our OPAC, just visit signet.dost.gov.ph. And for uh, online subscription, please visit www.sciencedirect.com. And for your material request, just send us an email at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. Yeah, and okay, so now before. We proceed to our next video presentation. Let's have a uh, short icebreaker lang. So this is to refresh the learnings from the previous discussion. So very quick lang to and very easy. I'll be asking two to three questions. And if you know the answer, you can just type it in the chat box. Okay, so kung alam po ang, kat ang kasagutan, itype lamang po sa ating chat box. Okay, so first question. Who is the current secretary of the Department of Science and Technology? So, sino po ang ating current DOST secretary? Again, so again, who is the current secretary of the Department of Science and Technology? So, meron na ba questions? Itype lang po ang mga answers sa chat box. Ayan, so may mga nag-message na that is correct po ang ating uh, current DOST secretary ay si Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña or uh, ang initials ay SFTP for short. Ayan. Okay. Second question. Second question. What is the meaning of OPAC? What is the meaning of OPAC or what does OPAC stand for? Kanina si Ms. Irene uh, in explain kung paano i-navigate ang aming OPAC. Now, what is the meaning of OPAC? Meron na ba? Yan. Okay. So, very good. Ang ibig sabihin po ng OPAC ay Online Public Access Catalog. And, yan. And last question. Okay. What field of specialization do the materials in the DOST STII support? What field of specialization do the materials in the DOST STII support? So about saan po yung collection namin? About saan yung materials na kinokolect ng DOST STII? I think this was also uh, discussed by Ms. Irene during her discussion kanina. So, ano po yung uh, about saan ang materials na kinokolect ng DOST, STII. So, let's see the chat box. Ayan. So, ang materials po na kinokolect ng DOST, STII ay anything related to science, technology, and innovation or STI. Ayan. Science, technology, and innovation. Okay, so that's it for our icebreaker. Salamat, guys, for your active participation. And now we are down to our last topic. But before that, let us all watch uh, the Starbucks infomercials. <laughs> Information is power. Access to information is critical. School children in remote areas hardly get access to good libraries. What more to the internet? All children, regardless of gender, economic, and social status, have the right to information, including SMT information. Information that would inspire them to become future doctors, inventors, engineers, entrepreneurs, researchers, and more. Starbucks is here to bridge the information divide. Starbucks, or the science and technology academic and research-based openly operated kiosks, is the first Philippine SNT digital library in a box with thousands of science and technology information materials from all over the world. 
developed by the men and women of DOST Science and Technology Information Institute in 2011, Star Books capsulized the DOST STII's library into a digital box. Demand for this innovative and beneficial digital resource rose steadily, especially in economically marginalized schools and last mile communities in the country. Through the years, Starbucks has worked with key industry players. From collection to dissemination of information, these partners have worked together with Starbucks in making a difference on how Filipinos view science and technology today. That is why award-giving bodies here and abroad have recognized Starbucks' vital contributions to the society. As of October 2020, Starbucks can be found in almost 4,900 sites in all 17 regions, staying true to its mission of reaching the grassroots. So, wherever you are in the country, whatever language you speak, and whether you're a student, a parent, a teacher, an employee, or a social worker, get ready for Starbucks! Partner with us, and together, let us bring science for the people. Starbucks, as you know it, is an offline data bank of science and technology information who once developed an online version for your PC and has evolved this time to conquer your mobile phones. Introducing Starbucks Mobile Apps. With your Android phone, experience the brightest Starbucks yet. Bringing you not just one, but three mobile applications. One, never mess with search engines again. Use the Starbucks online mobile app. Access legit science and technology data from Starbucks Online wherever you are. Just connect to the internet. Download the app. Register at the sign up page. Key in your details. Once done, all you've got to do on the main page is to simply click on the icons and explore the vast array of ST info materials at your fingertips. Search all you want. It's also available with the Starbucks online mobile app. Two, take on the challenge. Take on the Starbucks quiz. Starbucks brings you the most sought after exhibit at the National Science and Technology Week. Students, teachers, parents, and science whizzes out there. Download the Starbucks quiz today. Choose your difficulty level. Have fun and learn science and technology stuff at the same time. Be the first to play the Starbucks quiz and take advantage of the gamified version coming soon. 3. Finding Starbucks has never been this easy with the Starbucks Geo Map. Ever wonder where and how many Starbucks there are exactly? This comprehensive map locates every single Starbucks site in a barangay, town, city, province, region, and in the whole country. You can even search for the nearest Starbucks like a good navigator you are. So if you love Starbucks and maps, download the Starbucks Geo Map. Now's the time to gear up your phone with the Starbucks mobile apps. Get them on Google Play. And don't forget to like Starbucks on Facebook. In an attempt to contain the spread of COVID-19, schools were temporarily closed. Students now learn from home. Demand for online learning resources shoots up. Question is, how much can you trust your information source? 
Fret not, for Starbucks is now online. Starbucks, or the science and technology, academic and research-based, openly operated kiosks, is an offline site with full suite science and technology information resources. Today, Starbucks has been tailored fit for you. The wealth of knowledge contained in the country's first S&T offline digital library in a box, now accessible online. Accessing information in Starbucks Online is as easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. Go to the Starbucks Online portal via www.starbucks.ph. 2. Sign up by clicking the upper right portion of the main page. You will be directed to the login page. Click Sign Up Here and key in your details. 3. Click Submit and you're on your way to enjoying Starbucks online. Imagine a mountain of learning resources and there is Starbucks, a beaming gold on the internet scene. Contains tons of SDI information that are fun, legit, and easy to dig. From s and news, to agriculture, to livelihood, and up to disaster preparedness. Say it! Starbucks has it! Try Starbucks online and take advantage of this free, full suite, and fingertip-ready access to the brightest Starbucks yet. Visit Starbucks online portal now and be at the forefront of science and technology information. Get to know Starbucks more. Like our Facebook page. Okay, so yan po ang aming uh, Starbucks infomercials. And now to further explain how to navigate the Starbucks offline, online, mobile app, quiz app, quiz app, and how to avail, here's Mr. RJC Escondo, our Information Systems Researcher 3. Okay. Magandang araw po sa lahat and welcome ulit sa ating online library literacy program. So narito po ako ngayon para ipakilala sa inyo si Starbucks. So kanina, uh, pinakilala na po si STII maging ang ating library. Ang ating library po ay matatanggupuan sa Bikutan Tagig. So ito po yung isang challenge natin when it comes to information access. Uh, ang Bikutan Tagig po ay medyo may kalayuan sa karamihan ng ating mga information seekers. Uh, at bukod doon, isa rin siya sa may matrapik na area. So, dito tayo nagkaka-problem uh, yung tinatawag nating gap between the information seekers o yung ating mga researchers at yung ating content na matatagpuan sa library. So, uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin? So, ang ginawa namin or ng STII is to bring the library resources sa ating mga information seekers. So, papunta na sa inyo. It's the other way around na. So, paano natin ginawa yun? Ito po ang kaya, kaya na buo si Starbucks. So, si Starbucks po ay isang digital library na kung sa, ayana natin sa traditional, yung mga libro natin, ginawa natin siyang, aprenasis natin siya into digital forms para pwede na natin siyang uh, ipamahagi sa iba't ibang nangangailangan. Uh, bukod dito, once digital ka na, pwede na siya ng sabay-sabay gamitin or tinatawag natin multiple access. Pangalawa, si Starbucks po ay offline or hindi na nangangailangan ng internet connections. Uh, pangatlo, uh, mobile na siya. So, it's called a library in a box. Uh, Rinay natin siyang gawing mobile. So, anywhere, even the remote areas, pwede nating mapuntahan. At higit sa lahat, ang system po ni Starbucks ay pinamamahagi na atin sa ating mga institution or eskwelahan ng libre. Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Uh, gusto natin mag-create ng interest sa science and technology ang ating mga kabataan. At uh, later on is 
mag-enroll sila into science and technology courses. Uh, sunod is magkaroon tayo ng pool of uh, SNP personnel through uh, inventions, innovations, and of course, inspire one's capacity for entrepreneurship and research. Uh, ano-ano naman ang laman ng Starbucks? So, nung umpisa po ang kung ano yung meron kay library, uh, yun ang nilalagay natin kay Starbucks. Ngayon, we partnered with different content providers at sa iba't ibang ahensya ng DOST. Uh, we have livelihood videos, uh, disaster risk reduction information through S4SC, the Philippine Men and Women of Science, uh, encyclopedia, COVID, COVID information, investigatory projects, and of course, yung ating K-12 materials. So, yung K-12 materials po natin, through the partnership with Front Learners, ito na po ang laman natin. So, this is in accordance with the DepEd K-12 uh, guidelines or content guidelines. Uh -huh. uh, quarters. So, yan. So, nakabreakdown na siya per subject, per quarter, per grade level. Ah, sorry, that's per grade level, per quarter, per subject. Alright. So, we can also see kung ano yung ginagamit ni DepEd na code for each specific lessons, nandito na rin po siya. So, ano ba yung mission ni Starbucks? So, sabi nga natin, ginawa si Starbucks para mapadala sa ating information seekers. So, our mission is to bring Starbucks to your location o doon sa mga nangangailangan. And to date, meron na po tayong 5,199 Starbucks sites nationwide. So, karamihan po dito, of course, is our academic institutions. We have some from LGUs non-government uh, non government agencies and NGOs and private institutions. So, ilan lamang po ito sa mga uh, deployments natin. So, sabi nga natin, it's mobile. So, wala na tayong pinipiling lugar. Hindi na pwedeng sa city lang. Kasi hindi lang naman sa city ang nangangailangan ng impormasyon natin. Tawid ilog, tawid dagat, tawid bundok, Ito naman po, uh, uh, meron tayong isang area, uh, isang area in Katiil, Davao Oriental. So, our regional op, uh, office developed a solar-powered Starbucks. So, para marating natin yung Barangay Malibago or Patong Elementary School. Uh, totally remote, this, uh, no internet, no electricity. Pero still... They can still use our contents. Sabi ko kanina, we also have Tawid Bundok. Karamihan in car. Remote areas. Okay. For our partners, these are the list of our partners. Uh, we can break them down into two. Uh, content partners. So, sila yung nagbibigay sa atin ng mga contents. Uh, na pwede nating ilagay kay Starbucks at ng mga gamit ng mga sadyante, researchers, at uh, entrepreneurs. Of course, we have the deployment partners. So, sila yung nagdadala naman ng Starbucks sa ating mga lugar or sa kanilang uh, respective beneficiaries. And of course, we also partnered with our different attached agencies ni DOST as well as re our regional offices for the deployment of our Starbucks sa kanilang mga nasasakupan. So, to date, ito, lang, ito po ang mga nakamit ni Starbucks simula nung tayo ay uh, nilaunch noong 2011. So, nung 2015, nagawaran tayo ng Presidential Citation for Innovative International Library Projects ng American Library Associations and the Outstanding Library of the Year ng PAARL naman. So, in 2017, nabigyan tayo ng Best Practice Recognition ng the Academy of the Philippines as well as Silver and Gold Anvil Awards for Public Relations Tools, Multimedia and Public Relations Program category. 
2019, we were given the special award for the Freedom of Information uh, by the Presidential Communications Operations Office. Uh, last year, we were given Excellence in Government Communications Program Award ng Philippine Quill Awards. And since 2017 to 2020, tayo po ay consistent na kasama sa priority programs ng National Economic Development Authority. So, paano naman ngayon na wala tayong physical face-to-face -face sa mga schools? So, of course, we need to pivot to the new normal. Si Starbucks po ay meron tayong iba't ibang portal na pwede pa magamit. Hindi man tayo nakikita-kita sa mga sa physical na eskwelahan. So, we have the online portal. We have different apps. We have gamified quiz app and of course the geo map sa so, isa-isahin natin yan sa ating Starbucks online portal uh, this was launched in 2015 mainly as a management and monitoring portal ng ating mga installation sites all over the country dito kasi sila nagsasubmit ng mga usage reports and dito rin tayo nagbibigay ng updates sa, para sa kanilang mga contents. However, nung, during the pandemic, when everyone was forced to stay at home, so our learners ay nangailangan ng pagkukunan or ng magpag-access ng informasyon. So what we did in Starbucks is to upload our contents dito sa ating portal uh, para magkaroon naman yung ating mga sadyante and researchers ng relevant and timely science and technology innovation information. And it was also this time na uh, nilawakan natin yung ating partnerships with the different organizations para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang content online. So, paano natin ito maa-access? Uh, using your browser, just go to www.starbooks.ph And sa upper right side, makikita nyo po dito yung login here to explore. So, just click that side and magkakaroon po tayo ng pop-up window like this in image number 2. So, if you have, if you've registered before, uh, just input your username and password or you can always sign up. So, once you sign up, you click yung sign up form, lalabas po yung ating sign up form. Just fill out the required information. And click submit. Now, you can explore our online portal. So, our contents, katulad ng mga binanggit ko kanina sa offline, we have the different contents from our different agencies, content providers, and online sources. So, para naman sa ating mga gadget users, we developed ilang mobile applications para maka-connect or maka-access din sa ating Starbucks information. So, ito naman, kinawa natin ito ng July 2019. And, uh, to date, Hanggang Android, Android pa lang po ang ito available. So, we can download it at Google Play Store. So, paano tayo magkaroon? Punta lang po kayo sa inyong Play Store sa inyong mga gadgets. Search for Starbucks. So, kay Starbucks po, tingnan nyo mabuti. Meron siyang nakalagay. Yung may logo po na bilog. Yan. And then, download and install. So, same then. Pro, uh, set up lang tayo ng ating profile, your name, your age, and your category. And then, you can access our different informations contained in Starbucks, such as the SCART videos. So, dito, since gadget naman siya, click-click lang. Uh, minsan, may mga kailangan din tayo na applications, katulad ng video play players. And, so, para maka-access tayo ng mga videos natin. 
uh, yung ibang materials natin, such as journals, science journals, we have the complete text, uh, complete article, full title, uh, uploaded na rin po yan. Especially those coming from the Philippine Journal of Science. Uh, halimbawa, uh, need nyo ng specific na item, you can always use the search function. So, sa search function natin, we can limit it or filter it if you want the video, the full text, or the text only. So, usually, yung mga text only, ito yung mga web contents natin. So, you can use titles, you can use keywords uh, to search for your information. So, paano naman kung medyo board board ka na sa pagbabasa? Si Starbucks po, nag-develop din. Ito po, bagong-bago lang. Uh, Kakalunch lang nito last week. So, initially, meron kaming uh, simpli, sim, mas simpleng version nito. Ito lang yung mas pinaganda. We have avatars na, we have tokens na, and everything. So, si Gamified na po, si WizUp, same din siya. It's available kay Android. So, punto lang tayo kay Play Store. And hanapin po si Starbucks Wiz. So, yung icon po niya is si Smarty. Kung familiar kayo kay Smarty, yung mukhang Angry Bird na may hawak na tablet. So, yan si Starbucks Wiz. And install and play. So, ito na po ang mangyayari dyan. Same pa rin tayo ng process. Always enroll on your account reg or register your account and login. Or pwede rin na po yan ng using your FB. Okay? So, meron tayong iba't ibang Meron po tayong iba't ibang levels na magagamit dito. Let's begin. Take on the challenge from seven different categories. Step right up and conquer the beginner level. If you find that easy, the intermediate, junior, and senior levels will make you wish you paid more attention in class. But if you're really raring for a challenge, prepare to be stumped when you try out the advanced level. Starbucks Wiz. In standard mode, you'll earn tokens by tapping the correct answer. Tap in as fast as you can to earn more tokens. Challenge your friends in dual mode. For tryout battle of five. Five players enter, but only one can win. Outlast your friends in this intense online battle of wits. And earn stars, climb the ranks, and collect badges along the way. Starbucks wins. Earn stars by getting questions right, winning battles, and getting daily rewards. Get more stars and you'll quickly rank up. Get on top of the game by becoming the Mad Scientist. Get more time to think with Time War. Clear away two wrong choices by engaging Take Two. Or summon Eureka and the answer will be revealed instantly. Starbucks Wiz. Okay, so yun po ang ating Starbucks Wiz up. Uh, happy playing guys download and enjoy para naman sa ating GMAP app uh, this was launched in 2019 so yung app na ito po ay pwede natin gamitin para makita natin kung saan saan na nga ba may mga Starbucks na malapit sa ating lugar and as the same uh, available din po siya sa ating Google Play Store so punta lang kayo Play Store search nyo si Starbucks Geo Map, and you'll see yung kiosk icon natin 
of course, uh, created by DOST STII pa rin po. And install. So, paano natin siya gamitin? Once you open yung app, so ang lalabas po niyan is yung image 1. You can use our filter site. So, we can filter by location, region, province, or city. Or, sorry, we can use it by, we can filter by name. Name po nung lugar or nung high school. Okay? And so, in summary, ito po ang ating mga platforms. So, we have the offline. Ito yung binibigay natin sa mga institution such as schools, LGUs, and NGAs. For online portals, we have the different apps that we can access anytime. Of course, we need internet connections. Uh, as well as our mobile apps, all you need to do is download it from Google Play Store and access our different uh, applications depende sa inyong need. So, for questions, comments, and requests, you can email us at starbucks at stii.dost.gov.ph or dost.starbooks at gmail.com You can also message us and follow us in our Facebook page at dost-starbooks Thank you and have a great day! Okay, so thank you very much Sir RJ and uh to all our speakers. Yeah. And now let us proceed to the Q&A portion. If you have any questions, the Zoom floor is now open for your clarifications and comments. Kung meron pong hindi masyada malinaw during the discussions, and dito naman po ang ating mga speakers to answer your questions. Ayan. So itype lamang po ang mga katanungan sa chat box or use the Q&A button. Ayan. Okay, so let's scroll back kung meron bang questions. Uh, I think may nakaraise ng hands. Ayan, si Albert John, si Carl, at saka si Jazel. If may questions po, pakitype na lang sa ating chat box para ma-address natin and our speakers could answer. Ayan. And siguro while we're waiting for them to type in their questions, again, to access our OPAC, just visit signet.dost.gov.ph. And for online subscription, please visit www.sciencedirect.com. And for material requests, just send us an email at library at stii.dost.gov.ph. And we're also pala on social media, so please uh, find us on Facebook, that's facebook.com slash library. And on Twitter, that's at STII underscore library. And on Instagram, that's at dost.stii.library. So, okay. So, meron bang mga questions so far? I think. Tahimik naman ng ating uh, chat box. I think wala namang questions. Anyway, kung may maisip po kayong questions na hindi niyo matatanong today, you can uh, always email us or send uh, a message through our Facebook page. Okay, so if everyone's good with the discussion, let's move on to the next slide. Yeah, and so as part of our commitment to gender and development, Please watch this short video from the Philippine Commission on Women. Ang mga katutubong Pilipino kaibanan sa pagsiguro kan magkakanig ang pag Bilang isang Muslim, ipinagmamalaki ko ang aking pananampalataya. Naniniwala ako na hindi dapat maging hadlang ang magkakaibang paniniwala sa pagsulong ng kaularan para sa lahat. Naniniwala ako na ang mga miyembro ng LGBTQ community 
ay may kanikaniyang kakayahan at talentong kapakipakinabang sa lipunan. Ang respeto at paggalang sa bawat miyembro ng lipunan, anuman ang kasarian, ay susi tungo sa pantay ng oportunidad para sa lahat. Hindi hadlang ang aking kapansanan upang maging produktibo at makilahok sa gawain pang komunidad. Ang partisipasyon ng mga taong may kapansanan sa usapin at isyong pambansa ay nakatutulong sa paghubog ng aming sariling kakayahan at sa pagkamit ng lipunang pantay at inclusive. Kaming mga kababaihan sa kabukidan ay may dakulang ambag sa komunidad lalong-lalo na sa pangataman kang kapalibutan asin ang kasiguruhan sa pagkakain. Kung kaya kami nangangapudan sa pantay na pagtaratar sa kinukuanan kang natural na yaman asin sa pagtaon ng servisyo sa salod asin kabatiran. Kami mga kabataan ay hindi lang para sa kinabukasan. Kami rin ay para sa kasalukuyan. Sa pamamagitan ng mga makabagong platforms katulad ng social media, na ipapahayag namin ng aming boses at opinion tungkol sa mga napapanahong isyo na may epekto sa amin. May karapatan din kami na makilahok sa mga gawain pangkaularan dahil dito nakasalaray ang aming kinabukasan. Bilang isang kawani ng gobyerno, tukulin kong magsipi ng tapat, karangal at mahusay para sa bayan ko at sa aking mga kapwa Pilipino. Makikitungo ako ng pantay at makatarungan sa lahat ng lumalapit sa aming tanggapan. Patuloy kong iaangat ang antas ng paglilingkod at sisigapin kong iparamdam sa mamamayan ang dekalidad ng servisyo sa bayan. Kahit anong lahi, kahit anong relihiyon, kahit anong katayuan sa buhay, kahit anong kasarian, kahit anong pinagmulan, kahit anong profesyon, walang dapat maiwan. Kaya magsama-sama tayong siguruhin ang pantay na karapatan at oportunidad para sa lahat. Kami ang Generation Y. So again, that was brought to you by the Philippine Commission on Women. And for the closing remarks, let's hear it from the Division Chief of the Information Resources and Analysis Division, or IRAD, Mr. Alan C. Taule. Sa ngalan po ng kagawaran ng Agama Teknolohiya at DOST Science and Technology Information Institute, ako po si Alan Taule, Chief Science Research Specialist ng Information Resources and Analysis Division o IRAD na malugod na bumabati sa ating mga panauhin para sa ating webinar on online library literacy. Naway marami po kayong matutunang bagong kaalaman mula sa ating resource speakers na tumalakay sa paksang library services na maaari nating gamitin kahit hindi tayo actual na dumadalaw dito sa loob ng DST complex sa Bikutan, Tagig City. Sabi nga nila, this is the information age where information can be accessed with a click here and there plus a few keystrokes. Sa kasalukuyan nga, hindi mo na kailangan ng PC or ng laptop sapagkat pwede ka nang mag-online sa telepon lamang. Ngunit dapat nating parating tatandaan na kung gaano kabilis makasagap ng impormasyon, ganun din kabilis makasagap ng disinformation o fake news. Malaking suliranin ngayon ang paglaganap ng maling impormasyon, lalo na sa social media. Kaya dapat muli nating ugaliin ang pagkalap ng impormasyon mula lamang sa official and reliable sources. At makasisiguro kayo na ang impormasyon at kaalamang nagmumula sa libraries ay nagdaan sa mga trained professionals gaya ng registered librarians ng DOST-STII. Muli, 
ang aking pasasalamat sa ating mga palauhin sa araw na ito. Maasa kami na maging bahagi ng buhay ng mga estudyante ang dumalaw sa DOST STI Library na makikita sa library sa stii.dost.gov.ph Ulitin ko po. Library .stii.dost.gov.ph Maligayang paglalakbay sa landas ng kaalaman at pag-unlad sa buhay. Sa ulitin, Alright, so maraming salamat, Sir Alan. And uh, some reminders, the OST STII will provide an e-certificate of attendance to all participants who will successfully submit their accomplished pre-test, post-test, and evaluation form. The e-certificate of attendance will be sent to the email address that you have provided in the evaluation form 10 working days after this program. Okay, so again, after po ng 10 working days after this program. Okay, so next slide, please. Ayan, and we also have uh, ongoing online contests. So these are in celebration of the 31st Library and Information Services Month or LIS Month 2021 with the theme, Libraries Building Roads, uh, Readers, Opportunities, Advocacies, Development, Sustainability. So all you need to do is uh, follow the mechanics and submit your entries on or before um, October 29, 2021. And the top three winners will be announced on November 11, 2021. So our uh, atin pong, uh, first contest is a fan art contest. So contestants will need to make a fan art on how DOSD STII Library contributes to the LIS Month 2021 team. So it can be digital art or hand-drawn or traditional. At ang atin naman pong criteria ay 30% relevance to the theme, 25% originality, 30% creativity, and 15% uh, social media impact or number of reactions. Social media impact because your entries will be shared on our Facebook page. Ayan. And you can invite your friends and relatives to like or react to your fan art. The more reactions you got, the more chances of winning. Okay, so next contest. Yeah, and we also have a learning at home selfie contest. So contestants will need to take a selfie while attending DOST STII library online activity. So ngayon, kung nanonood kayo ngayon, uh, pwede na kayo mag-selfie if gusto nyo sumali sa aming uh, online contest. So criteria is 40% originality, 40% creativity, and 20% social media impact. Ayan. So next contest. Also have a book face photography contest. So contestants will need to pick a book owned or borrowed on science and technology and will snap a photo using the book cover to make it look like a part of your body. So ate pong criteria ay 40% originality, 40% creativity, and 20% social media impact. So if you're not uh, familiar sa, sa book face photography, so you can check uh, our Facebook page kasi may mga nag-submit na ng mga entry. So uh, pwede niyong tingnan kung ano yung mga ginawa ng other participants. But then again, uh, please be reminded that 40% is originality. Okay, so next contest, um, last contest is an essay contest. So uh, contestants will need to write an essay uh, answering what do you love about the DOST SDII library. So ang ating essay can be written in Filipino or English, no maximum number of words and must be saved using MS Word. So ang ating pong criteria ay... 25% uh, content, 30% originality, 30% creativity or writing technique, and 15% social media impact. So again, uh, lahat po ng contest namin ay posted sa aming Facebook page. So if you're interested to join, uh, please read the mechanics and uh, please submit your entries on or before October 29, 2021. Okay, so next slide. And to access our uh, DOSD SDII library e-resources, you need to register by going through the link 
tinyurl.com slash dost dash sdii dash library or simply scan the QR code or pwede nyo rin pong itype ang ating link sa inyong mga browsers. So again, to access our e-resources, you need to register through the link posted. Okay, so next slide please. And finally, as part of our learning initiatives, we are asking everyone to please answer our post-test and evaluation form through the link posted. So ang link din po ay isesend na amin sa chat box. Ayan, so nasa chat box na, so you can click it directly. Pwede nyo rin pong itype ang ating link sa inyong mga browsers. And some reminders, when answering the evaluation form, uh, please use Please provide your uh, complete full name. So that's your full, uh, first name, middle initial, and your surname. And please uh, double check your email addresses kung ano po yung ginamit natin nung nag-register tayo in the program. Yun din pong email ang gagamitin sa ating evaluation form. Okay, so again, maraming salamat everyone for joining and supporting this program. Sa mga students, thank you for taking the time. And sa atin pong mga school heads, maraming salamat sir and ma'am for requesting the session. Uh, we really hope the students learn something from the discussions no? and uh, may magamit sila sa kanilang mga projects, uh, assignments, outputs, and researches. Yeah. So again, maraming salamat everybody for uh, listening. And siguro while uh, the rest are answering the evaluation form, May I request the panelists to open their cameras for a quick photo of? Yeah. yeah, and so again, thank you, every thank you, Paul, for uh, requesting the session. Again, uh, Sir MJ. Kayo na po bahala mag-capture in uh, 3, 2, 1. Ah, one more, one more. Ayan, so. Okay na po. Thank you everyone sa mga school heads, Sir Nils and Gret. Uh, thank you for requesting the session. Uh, maraming salamat po. Ayan. Uh, and sa mga students, if you're done answering the evaluation form, you may now leave the Zoom room. Okay, so thank you so stay, much, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, enjoy the rest of the week. God bless everyone. Ingat po.